Archer, where is Hunbald? I tried to console him, but he pushed me away. I love the boy, I do. But I fear what would happen if he took his father's title. He's fragile and scattered. I saw him ride north, following the paved Roman road. To the old tall tree where he often passed time with his father, I imagine. Humboldt loved you like family, and you lied. In my way, I was trying- Oath and ale work better. I must beg forgiveness from my God. The Lord lifts up the meat. We must praise him. My name is not Remember the day. <laughs> Hello? Eivor? Is that you? Eivor, what a pleasant surprise. Would you drink with me? Humboldt. Come, s sit, sit. Stay with me a while and contemplate. Contemplate. Contemplate the view. Be easy with your grief, Hunwald. If you're not careful, it's a poison you'll bear in your blood for the rest of your life. No need to worry. <clears throat> for I have found the antidote for it. Do not gorge on grief, nor give in to sadness. But let your aching love light the meat of your eyes and lead you to triumph. That is cool. Quite lovely. My father would have liked you. He liked all those who could swing a sword and speak a verse with ease. He had a large heart and a love for his people. I think I would have liked him too. <laughs> he and I used to wander up this way all the time. He would take me hunting, and I would catch the m most wretched little things if I caught anything at all. I was a rubbish hunter. <laughs> but he always said he was proud. Each and every time. A toast. To your father, 
Lord Hunbeoth of Lincolnshire. He may have dwindled from this world in death, but in life he was as stalwart as this tree. A wise old oak. Yes. Skull. Skull. <laughs> and then, and then my father says, it's the right goat, but it's the wrong end. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, my Swanborough loves that one. <laughs> she has a great sense of humor, my lady love. Father would have liked her. Right, your Dane lady love. She sounds lovely. Too lovely to be real. You know what? We should... Visit her. We should go to Brimsky. Uh, gr Grimsby. Yes, yes, there's no time to lose. After you. Nothing like drinking and riding to jostle your troubles away. And the contents of your gut. Now come. And enjoy the splendor of my shot. As I was saying. Now come and enjoy the splendor of my shire. You Saxons and your tiny splendor. You've never seen mountains, have you? Or deep fjords like a giant's axe wound. Or towering falls that steam in the dead of winter. Snow sparkling like a blanket of jewels. That is splendor. Well, if your homeland is so splendor full, why come to England at all? Ah, uh, you can't grow crops on a blanket of jewels. Ha! Ah, very true. I'll admit, your countryside. Thus take the breath away. Quite so, quite so. I love this land. And should I follow my father's footsteps, I shall do my solemn duty to protect her. I know many think me foolish, inexperienced. But I would ask that they judge me by my future hopes, not my past reputation. If I am given sway over this land and show myself to be a poor leader, shame me, punish me, of course. But give me that chance. By God, I just want to have that chance. What was that? Birds, Eivor. Has no one told them today is a day of grief? Shh, quiet. Stop here. Something isn't right. I'll find the trouble before it finds us. Zunin, guide me.
survey the area, Sudan. Struck Avor. I'm over here. That's twice they've tried to kill you, Hunvald. And twice we had luck. But if you're not more careful, someone in Mercia wants you dead. And they'll kill anyone in the way to see it done. Yes, including my dear Swanborough, my lady love. I'm serious, Hunvald. Plain and clear. Unwald, are you sure this place is safe? The safest spot in the Shire, yes. Here I am with a chance to be Elderman, but I have yet to prove myself worthy. To you, to the Shire, to her. I can do nothing without my darling lady. You've made me realize how much I've neglected her through this fatal stupor of mine. This I must see for myself. Hundval, I thought for sure you'd be dead. Why didn't you send word? It has been far too long, my little jewel. I'm fine, my love. I wilt it without you, but still I grow. And who is this? Ah, yes. I am proud to present Eivor of the Raven Clan. Hello, Eivor. And you, Swanborough. I wasn't sure what to make. Surprised to find that they. Not quite. I'm surprised to find us. Eivor agreed to help me find my father. But I'm afraid it hasn't gone as well as I'd hoped. What's happened? My father is dead. Died of a cruel disease, apparently. Then shunted off to a cellar for burial. Oh, my love, I'm so... And someone in your shire wants to make sure Hunvald follows his father to the grave. Let them try. I'll cut their throats. A shire mood will soon be held. What if I left it all behind, my love? Forget my father's seat. What if I stayed here with you? J Hunvald, no. This shire must be led with courage and heart. Whatever strength you lack, yes. Come inside and rest your bumble. Keep watch over that one. Men have come for him more than once. My blade will keep him safe. I don't doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> 